Hello and welcome to this quick demonstration of using Octant with Jenkins X. So we've already installed Octant and the Octant JX plugin. And so let's look at it all in action. So this is the normal Octant deployment view. And we're looking inside the Kubernetes cluster with Jenkins X Fluida X installed. Now because we've installed uh, Octant JX plugin, we get this Jenkins X tab down here. Um, there's also an Operations tab, which we're not going to show you right now, for operating Jenkins X itself. We're going to focus on the Developer tab for working with uh, environments, applications, pipelines, and repositories. So inside here, we can look at the Environments tab. So Jenkins X comes with a bunch of environments by default. There's Development Environment, Production, and Staging. Uh, and in this case, the Development Environment has a GitOps repository, which is where we define all the apps that we install, all of those sort of things. So those are the environments. Uh, we've got an apps view that shows you all the current apps running in the current namespace. This is basically just the app, the version, the number of pods that are running, and has it got an ingress you can use. Um, there's also the source repositories tab, which shows you all the source repositories that you have CI, CD, etc. And so this is a, a simple quick start plus uh, the development environment. Now the more interesting view is the pipelines view. So the pipelines view shows all the pipelines that are running all the branches and all the source repositories. Um, and the easiest thing to do is to trigger a new pipeline and you see how it works. So let me open the repositories tab in a new window. Uh, and I'm going to look at the source code of this quick start, which is a really awesome quick start uh, that basically prints some text to the uh, a web browser. And I'm going to edit this. I'm going to say awesome. Um, and then we're going to create a pull request. So I'm going to click the post change. Create pull request. So we've created a pull request on GitHub for this uh, uh, microservice. Now we should see pipelines start. You see that pipeline that starts here? Now, um, like all Octant views, we can filter this view by the GitHub owner, the repository, the branch, the build number, the, the status. So we could filter just the running builds. Um, so you can see this is the only build that's running. Um, we can see a summary of the steps that are running in the build here. Or if we click on this link, we can see a, a more detailed view that shows all the different steps that are running this pipeline. Now, because this is a, a pull request pipeline, we've got a link to the pull request here. So if we're ever wondering what this build is related, we can link to the pull request. So this is a pull request that's triggered the pipeline. Um, we can also see various other things. If I look on, say, this log here, and I click that link, it opens the container log for that step in the pipeline. So that's the step that made the container image. Um, so I can click on any of these steps to see what's happening. This is a log of the uh, helm chair. There's also this little icon here, which if you're ever wondering what the step is in the Jenkins X pipeline, if I click on that one, uh, we get a view of what was the exact step that was running in the pipeline. So this is the container uh, image name. Sorry, this is the container step name. This is the container image that was running the step. Which, if I click on that, in this case it's a GCR image, it could be a Docker Hub, or it could be an Amazon image. This links to the actual container image that's used to run that step. Uh, this is the directory that the step runs in, and this is the actual command that's running for that step. Here's the volume mounts, and here's all the environment variables for that step. So, this view is particularly interesting and useful if you're diagnosing pipeline issues and wondering why is a step suddenly failed? Is it using the wrong image? Is an environment variable wrong? So we can see uh, this whole pipeline is now completed. So uh, the pull request pipeline is completed. If we look at the pull request now, we'll see we've just created a preview environment and there's a little uh, comment being added to the preview that shows this new preview is running. There we go, there's the awesome Jenkins X preview. Um, and we've also got the preview link here. If I click on the preview, I can see the preview application from this page. There we go. So I can link to the Git repository. That's the Git repository. I can link to the pull request. The pull request. I can also link to uh, a list of all the steps, the whole log for the whole pipeline, but I can also link to the pod. So this is the Tecto Tecton, well, the Kubernetes pod created by Tecton for all the actual steps that make up this pipeline, which is quite kind of robust because there's lots of steps and lots of containers going on in Tecton. But here's the gory detail of all the containers and steps that make up that pipeline. So. We have the pipelines view, lets us view all the pipelines. 
Uh, and you can see that the preview in this uh, repository worked. We've got some failures here, which we've got about failures. We've got about succeeded, uh, and winning, and so forth. Uh, so that's the demo. Uh, we can look at pipelines, we can look at repositories, we can look at environments and apps that we've Pretty cool.